bit of a two for one. <laughs> good, good morning, everyone. Hi, I, I'm Sam McGreevy, uh, I'm Senior Product Owners at Lloyds Banking Group. And I'm Gemma Waters. I look after insight and partnerships in our responsible transformation team. So responsible transformation, what does that mean? Um, so we're really lucky and privileged, I think, to be in the intersect between, as the name implies, transformation and responsible business. What is that? Transformation, moving things forward using tech and digital, and then responsible business, doing well by doing good. That's essentially what our team is doing now, which is brilliant. Um, I guess this, this particular section is called tools and resources. So for us, within our organisation and within our team, one of our greatest tools is our insight and our data, and one of our greatest resources is something that we're going to talk you through for the very first time today. So we're really excited to be here. Thank you for having us. So I guess, why are we here? You're a bank. So for us, I guess, responsible transformation, a really important part of that is the mindset within our organisation. So we're really lucky that within our branch network and within our communities, we've got tons of really passionate colleagues who really care about helping their customers and increasingly serving their customers and helping customers feel better about or be more able to equip themselves to their lives involves getting more involved with digital and helping them on that digital journey. That's a really important part. So I guess our branch network are really key. And I guess we feel really lucky within our organisation that our kind of mantra, our um, core purpose is helping Britain prosper. And we're really fortunate within our, our kind of part of the organisation to be able to do that through digital and to have the empowerment to do that in a number of different ways. I guess also we have the skill set. So as I said, for us, data, insight, understanding our customers, understanding the UK is a really core cool and important part of what we do. And we have a brilliant analytics function um, and also folks that are building really engaging products and services. And then lastly, scale. So the fact that we are representative across our different brands, we've got folks helping communities across the breadth and depth of the UK. And I guess, what do we know? So thinking about that insight and that data, as Helen's talked about, as Ian's talked about, we know the scale of the problem. Our data tells us that. But also, more importantly, it's not just about using our transactional data set to understand the actual behaviour of what customers and people are doing. But more importantly, it's the stories as well as the stats. So by reaching out to our colleagues and using our branch network, we're in communities, the breadth and depth of the UK, hearing what's going on, what people need, I guess, what are the barriers to doing more online, but ultimately, what are the benefits? How does it make them feel? So exactly the, the examples that Helen was talking about before. How can we help people move their, their lives and their aspirations forward? So I guess with all of this in mind, thinking about the, the insight that we've got and um, our Business Digital Index launched last week, so it be, um, you know, feel free to take a look at that, and also our Consumer Digital Index at the start of the year. Um, but with all of that in mind and the fact that through our branch network and through our Digital Champions programme, we've heard a lot about some of the challenges that people are facing. And one of which that was really clear was a joined up journey. So me as someone who, is, who wants to improve my job opportunities or someone who wants to gain the confidence to do more online, understanding where to go and how to help. There's the online centres, which are brilliant, and the... Um, and I guess that the different networks and the different partners that we work with are all offering something. But we felt that there was an opportunity to help work exactly to your point in partnership and in collaboration to make sure that there was something that really helped people and I guess turned our insight into action. And that's where we came up with the idea of the Lloyds Bank Academy. So I'm really pleased uh, to talk to you about Lloyds Bank Academy. As Gemma said, we started this uh, I think December 2017. Um, and we're in the midst of a live pilot at the moment. So uh, we've got te user testing going on, um, both from sort of face-to-face -face training and an online journey at the moment. We're about three weeks into it um, with the online sign portal going live just in the last couple of days. Um, so what I'm going to talk to you today will be the first time that anybody external to the bank has really seen any of this. Um, I guess I think to build on a point Nick made earlier is sort of the technology is the end point but it's the people that are using it which are who we're trying to help and putting them at the center of everything that we do has been really integral to this project. So 
right from the outset working with partners, uh, collaborating with local partners, national partners and users to understand how we can help them every step of the way and enabling them to feed into what it is that we're building. So we are truly building something that is, um, I guess to coin a phrase, human-centred, um, but it's basically putting people at the heart of everything that we do. Um, we truly do believe that we're building a really unique proposition, a completely accessible journey, something that we've worked with on a number of partners who are in the room, but also local partners as well. Um, so what is it and what does it look like? Well, it's digital training. Um, it's a digital training program, um, helping people who are currently out of work um, and looking to get back into work with the digital skills they need to be able to do this. Um, and then flip side of that is also helping out charities. Um, so we realise that the charity sector oh, is also a huge demand for digital skills. Uh, the great work that Gemma and team do around the business and charity digital index shows there's still some great leaps to be made in charity digital capability. What does it look like and what is it? Um, so it's running in Manchester at the moment. Um, we, I guess, how do you get into the programme? So we've worked with a number of local partners, uh, so job centres, the online centres in Manchester, uh, the libraries, um, Citizens Advice Bureau and our branches. So everywhere that users have told us is a trusted place for them to go and seek advice. Um, that's where you could get referred onto a programme. Um, all those referral partners have got, I guess, what it is that we're looking for, the ideal people that would suit our programme. Those users can then be um, referred onto either a face-to-face -face journey or an online journey, but those two aren't separate. If you get referred onto the online journey, you can completely book yourself into face-to-face -to -face training if they feel that's more appropriate for their need, and vice versa. If you get referred onto a face-to-face -face training programme at a local job centre, at a local library, you're introduced to our online training portal there and then as well. Um, so you can access at any time and almost refresh your learning because face-to-face training is great, but um, it's two to three hours, you go away. We want to be able to people to go back and revisit that training. That's where some of that online journey comes into play. Um, and as I said earlier, so starting out these projects with a load of personas, um, but not developing them on our own, sitting in uh, Lloyds Bank thinking, well, who is it we're going to target? <laughs> this was very much about going out to our library network, uh, to the job centres, working with uh, DWP, working with Citizens Advice Bureau, uh, charities like Barnabas, for example, sharing what we think our personas might be like, who the people that, that, that are in need most, um, and working with them to develop um, personas like Lucas, um, who is the type of person that's going through training in Manchester at the moment. So I'm just going to try and walk you through a bit of a light user journey. Um, I'm not as brave as Nick to do a live demo on stage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hence yeah. that it would fail or not load as the technology would not go out. So I've got screenshots, I'm not quite, quite that brave. Um, so Lucas uh, walks into a job centre, uh, he's been in the past, he's unemployed, uh, he works in construction, has a limited digital skill set. He probably has some of the capability there, but probably won't have the confidence uh, to apply that into a work environment. Um, Whoever it is that is looking after Lucas will either refer him onto a face-to-face -face program, which will be in his local vicinity, so Lucas doesn't have to travel far. He's in his he's in his local community, which we know works really well. Um, and that training session could be at one of the online centres, for example, or he could be referred from the Good Things program into the Lloyd's program, and that works both ways as well. Um, I'm gonna what I'm gonna work you through is if he gets referred onto that online journey, because I think this is the piece, this is the the tool side of things. Um, so this is what the homepage of the portal looks like. Um, as I said earlier, thought, sort of designing with people at the heart, but also that means designing with accessibility at the heart of what we, everything that we do. So the site is completely accessible. Um, there's a number of different accessibility features that means that anybody can access it. And also calling out our partners. So what our users told us um, is whether if they do have, a, I guess, a level of digital skill set, there's still going to be people coming onto the program that aren't confident. So um, creating something that they're familiar with, so um, a conversation um, is where we started. So this does animate, it's not as static as this, um, and you can talk back to the portal, uh, you can talk back to the website, um, and further on down the line we'll bring in another level of personalization to this. But it basically is trying to be very warm and friendly and click by click taking that user through what that journey is going to be like. 
started out with a really simple diagnostic capability. Um, so there are five questions here just to assess from an online perspective whether this person's got the right level of digital capability to go on to some of our face-to-face -face training or online training because what we don't want to do is set people up to fail. If they, have a really, if they have no basic digital skills or a lack of basic digital skills, our program probably isn't right for them, um, at which point we hand off to uh, our friends and experts if we go to the next slide, to learn my way into Good Things Foundation. Um, as talked about earlier, this is about collaboration um, and not copying or, I guess, building what other people have already done. So where our users would benefit from a Learn My Way or an online centre session, we very much refer, uh, refer them back to that. And that will come at an advanced stage as well. So if, if charities or people want to, to take their learning to a next level, go into digital marketing, well, Lloyds aren't going to specialise in that. Let's take them to a partner site or to a partner like Google who are experts in that. It's not, not for us to, to play in that field. It's where it comes down to this partner approach. Um, currently, we've got 15 topics online at the moment. They're about 10 minutes in length each, um, but building that content all the time. And again, talking to our users about what skills it is that they want and then building content around that. Um, the next layer to this is to add some further partner content onto that as well. So uh, where we work with a number of organisations, but how does that journey work? And personalisation is really important, so making that user feel like it's just for them rather than something that everybody's getting as a blanket training programme. Um, at the moment, it's self-selection, uh, but in the next couple of releases in the next few weeks, uh, we're bringing that next level, next level of sort of... Um, Gemma, here's your course, this is how far you've got through it, these are the badges that you've completed, and this is where we think you should go to next. And I think that level really separates us from a lot of the other good programmes that are out there at the moment, but we think this makes it rather unique. And I guess what we're doing the whole way through, obviously, as Sam said, is making sure that we're testing it with users. So I guess what we'll do following this is send you a link to the Academy as well, so you can have a look. Yeah. But I guess what we're doing is very much MVP at the moment. We want to iterate it and build it with and for our partners and our end users as well. Cool. Just a few more screenshots of what it, what it looks like. Um, and there's always the option to go back into the face-to-face -face training. So when we offer you an online option, we also offer a face-to-face -face class. So 20 students um, currently in Greater Manchester, there's five different centres um, right across uh, the combined authority and been working really close with, with Greater Manchester Combined Authority on that as well to make sure we're in the right places where there is the most need. Um, so where do we go through next? Uh, so as I've already mentioned, um, create a bespoke understanding of user capability. Uh, both it'll help us from a data um, a, a, an insight perspective as we can start to see what questions people are getting right and wrong and where there's the greatest need, but also we can build out that diagnostic capability to really put that learning journey into the user's hands. Um, and partner content. So uh, I guess we're always looking for partners and people that want to work with us. And um, we've got a number of partners on the next screen, I think, that are already contributing to the project where you've got training content or you want to be involved in the programme. We're always um, up for having that conversation. And it is really about true collaboration rather than this just being a Lloyds Banking Group product. And we want it to be with um, everybody that really cares um, about this agenda. So yeah, do get in touch with us following as well. And I think, yeah, um, yeah the more partners, the better. Yeah. And let me know if the portal's not working when we send you a yeah. link to it. <laughs> cool. cool. That's it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you.